so why can't you make any money with the creativity better program why why do you post those videos you do exactly what these gurus tell you but you still get what you still can't go viral you don't get many views you use ChatGPT for ideas, 11 labs for voiceovers, Midjourney for images. You post 10 videos a day across 10 different accounts, but you still cannot go viral. Well, why is that? I'm going to tell you why, as well as how to fix that. So the reason why is because you're following and listening to the wrong people. Those gurus who are preaching you those methods of making money with GTA clips, stream clips, Reddit stories, are not actually making money from that themselves. If they were making money from those methods, they wouldn't be blaming you whenever you fail. Because you always hear them say, well, you're not posting enough clips, you're not, you don't have enough accounts, just make more videos, publish more videos. They never take themselves at fault. It's always you. That is because they don't do it. They don't really understand it themselves. They don't make money from Creativity Better program. They make money from you. And that's why they want to feel like you're responsible. They don't want you to think that they're wrong. No, it's always your fault. Not the method, not whatever they preach. They always say it's you. Now, so how do you actually make money with Creativity Better program? How do you actually go viral and get views? Well, I'm gonna tell you. But it's not going to be some secret hook that you need to use, a different method, uh, subway surfers video, no. I'm not going to tell you that. What I'm actually going to tell you is, I'm actually going to tell you the principles of how TikTok works. So you can actually go and replicate it in any niche, with any format, rather than just picking us some kind of style that these gurus recommend and just shooting blankly anywhere when you don't even understand what happens. So if you actually want to go viral, you need to understand how TikTok works. Duh, right? And to help you to understand it easier, let me to compare it to something you and all of us know. So TikTok is... Uh, like a food marketplace. The only thing is that everything costs the same. The reason why it all costs the same because 10 seconds on one video, so people can spend 10 seconds watching your video or someone else's video. It costs the same, right? So TikTok is like a food marketplace where everything costs the same. You have steak, you have chips, you have ice cream. And these gurus, are telling you to just sell ice cream. The problem with that is that hundreds, that hundreds of people are also selling ice cream. Why would anyone buy ice cream from you when people can buy ice cream from someone, someone else who has their f favorite flavor, right? Who has, who is closer? That is the thing that gurus don't tell you. What you actually need to do is rather than just selling the same ice cream that everyone else is selling, is create a different flavor ice cream or a different dessert or a different type of food, right? It doesn't have to be just entertainment, junk food, right? It can be a steak, which is, you could say, educational content. And again, if it's entertainment, it doesn't have to be ice cream. It can be lollipop, right? It can be anything you could imagine. Oh, look, there's a, there's a deer somewhere. Somewhere de there, right? Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. So, what you have to do 
is sell different things that are on demand. If you're selling something that 50 different people are selling, now well, you're just not going to get sales, right? Look at it. Another problem these gurus preach to you is they try to tell you that you need to sell something that you can create easily. Like for ice cream, all you need is just a bunch of waffles and cream, right? And they tell you just push out as many ice creams, as many videos as you can, those GTA clips generated with, uh, gener just generated with ChatGPT, just add voiceovers. That's not true. They tell that so you would believe that it is super easy to go viral. All you need is 10 minutes a day and I'll tell you how to do everything. Just copy me and you'll go viral. No. How could you... Do you really think you could go viral by making a same video that 500 other people are making? 500 other people are selling the same ice cream as you. Why would you go viral? No. What you actually need to do before mass creating, mass producing content is to find what people actually want. What type of food are they in the market for? What are they sales? What are they searching for? Are they searching for ice cream? Are they searching for pizza? Will they eat pizza every day? Will do, do, do they want soup? You have to figure this thing out and then then you can try and mass produce that content to lower your cost which is your cost usually is just uh, your time right let me give you real examples all of us seen GTA clips right what you need to do is not just take those videos because they're working and do them as well no someone else is doing that already why would they watch you what you need to do is start asking yourself questions of how can you make this product better because it's a product, right? How you can make this ice cream have different flavors, better flavors, better quality, right? So you have to start questioning yourself. How do I make those streamer clips more funny? Uh, target a different niche? be more interesting whatever you just use it as your base not as your tactic right the same goes when uh, people started throwing orbies off stairs right with glass bottles falling you shouldn't just go and do the same try to think how what would make this better what would be better right the same goes with teacher grading tests. I've seen the first video when it came out, right? And I then se seen so many people trying to copy it. But the only ones that went viral were people who pivoted. People who started grading tests of different type of students, like the quiet kid, uh, people who started People who started different tests, like the sus ones, or just guns, right? Because these things apply to a different audience. These things are different, and they are unique. Like if David Goggins says, no pain, no gain, he would go viral, right? But it doesn't mean that I would go viral saying the same thing, because I'm not David Goggins. The same to you. The first person who made a video, the trend, he will go viral again and again because he did something different. He has some authority, he has been there, whatever, whatever are the reasons. But if you straight up copy, you're not going to go viral. You need to invent something different. Think of a different idea. Think outside the box. The, the real challenge is actually thinking of a good idea only then can you start 
mass producing content to test whatever variables work better. Only then can you test out different niches. First, you need to come up with a good idea. And it, and it really isn't that hard if you spend any time on TikTok. Just take whatever it works and do it better, differently. Like I've seen people go viral with the same clips, same short meme clips. They just put it in one minute. To just put it together and make one one minute video, you know, just so it's eligible for the pay. Why don't you do the same? Why don't you make something satisfying? There's people mopping floors for a minute. That's satisfying. Why don't you start anything burning bushes in your backyard? Uh, if that's legal, of course. Whatever is satisfying, whatever people like. Why do you stick yourself and limit yourself to ideas that these gurus tell you to do when you're aware that they won't work? Of course, TikTok is a lot more than that, but I cannot just tell you everything in this one video, so if you want anything else, just check my channel. But what you should take away from this video is that you need to be more creative. Think a little bit outside the box. Think how to do better rather than just listening to silly gurus who are there not to help you but to make money from you and just try and just create. Like those people grading the tests, they're making so much money just by having a piece of paper printed and whacking some silly things, right? So if you do understand the marketplace type of concept I told you, if you truly understand that, I believe that you can go viral whenever. Just make what people want to see. What isn't there yet. What's on demand. Get some people tasty ice cream, you know. 